the characteristics of money are durability, portability, divisibility, cognizability, homogeneity or uniformity, limited supply, legal tender, non-counterfeitable, and general acceptability. Durability of money is such that it can be used over and over again. Hence, it must survive wear and tear for long periods. Money must be able to withstand the physical abuse of circulation. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas requires paper bills to last for 5 years, while coins to last until 10 years. A basic characteristic of money is portability. Portability is that money must be able to go wherever such that it is easy to transport as people travel. Money must be light, easy to keep and carry. Divisibility deals with the fact that money must be easily divided to enable a person to buy different products. Money must allow for different denominations. Different denominations can measure different values. This creates fairness and accuracy in the exchange of goods. The ability to recognize money is critically important. Today, we can look at currency note and tell its value. If money is not cognizable, then people can find it difficult to determine if they are dealing with money or some inferior asset. An important quality of good money is homogeneity or uniformity. Uniformity of money calls for a standardization of money so that it looks the same. Having uniformity means the value and denomination of the money can be easily recognized. Limited supply states that money should not be easily available. There should not be an abundance of money in circulation. Keeping money in limited supply is required in order to preserve its value. Money must be designated by the government as the official form of payment. The legal system recognizes it as the medium of exchange for the country. Legal tender describes any official medium of payment recognized by law that can be used to extinguish a public or private debt. This characteristic means that the item used as money should not be easily counterfeited or duplicated by entities not authorized to do so. Money that can be easily duplicated ceases to function effectively as a medium of exchange. Money should be hard to counterfeit, thus requiring several unique security features. This deals with the fact that the form of currency must be acceptable. This is the only way for trade to begin and for business to flourish. The general public must recognize that money can be accepted by everyone else and this will enable them to acquire goods. That ends today's lesson. Kindly visit our Google Classroom to access the activity. If you have any questions, just type them in the comment box. Thank you and have a nice day.